see what I mean? Nah, I'm not gonna lie, I'm really not looking forward to this one. Hi. No, say hello. Say hi. No? She's putting. This is Charlie. Welcome to day three or um, video three of the bedroom and wardrobe declutter and restyling that I've been doing. Um, if you don't know what I'm talking about, then you can check out the other two videos that I've done on this. I'll link them up here. Up here. I'm not really sure where that goes. That's the plan to start with the, the cupboard um, and do the same kind of thing. Just pull everything out of there, kind of organise it, sort through it, and then put it back in some sort of in some sort of order where I can easily access. Um, this is going to be a bigger task because it is, I'm not even joking, you'll see when I open it, there's a huge amount of stuff in there. So it is going to be quite a big task. I'm hoping I can get it all done into one video. Um, before we even get started, I'm going to have to do some rejigging of this room. I've got like a chest of drawers over there that's kind of blocking the entrance to the cupboard. There's literally about this amount of space. The door doesn't even open properly. So that's the first step. I'm going to get that moved. Um, and then we'll tackle the cupboard. So if you're liking the videos, please do like and subscribe. Um, and let's do this. Right, as with other videos, as much as I can, I'm going to try and get this done in kind of the daylight. Wait, so I've got some light coming in the windows because I don't have any room um, behind me to set up any light or anything like that. So the lights probably will go in and out. The light might be a bit crappy, so I do apologise for that. Um, I'll try and get, get it as best as I can. But So let's start by moving this is chest of drawers. Right, so this is what we're dealing with. So as you can see, this is the pretty much the cupboard for hell. This is like the Monica cupboard. <laughs> Have you seen that episode of Friends where she just throws everything in the cupboard? Oh my god! <sighs> Need to tackle getting everything out first of all. Right, so that's pretty much all the clothes taken out the cupboard. Um, I don't even want to think about that pile there and what I'm going to do with it, but we'll, we'll face that, we'll tackle that um, next. Um, this is the kind of remaining shoes and stuff like that that's in here. I'm also going to need to put them into a separate kind of pile and deal with them separately. So let's get all the shoes out. <laughs> That's the cupboard emptied, nothing special, it's just a cupboard. Mm. It's not too bad a size. I mean, there's definitely a way I'm sure that it could be utilised for storage. We're getting shelves and stuff like that in there, but I just don't know if... Um, I don't think I can actually do that myself, I don't know. I'll we'll need to see. Right, so no joke, this is a nightmare. <laughs> this is even worse than what I kind of thought. But I'm just going to keep carrying on. Um, I think the best thing to do here is to sort through things and separate it into keep and either get rid of or charity shop so that's what i'm going to do the new and i'll be back in seven to ten days right so i decided what i'm going to do is sort through all the clothes first um and put it into the kind of keep pile and then the get rid of pile i think that's the best way forward so let's go on with that you remember the bandage skirt and the bandage dress stage I've just found a couple of bandage skirts here. See what I mean? I definitely told you that it keeps things forever and ever. Like this, I remember. <laughs> That's funny though. Memories. Please do ignore the state of me. Um, it's many, many hours later and I'm still trying to get this kind of organised. I'll just give you a wee update um, and show you what I've done so far. The last clip I showed you it was totally empty so all I've done is I've kind of tried to create a bit more space by moving some, sorry it's going to get dark, um, some of these wee bracket things, just kind of splitting them to create another shelf and make a bigger space down here because I really have to store suitcases and stuff like that there, there's not really anywhere else for them. So that's there at the minute, that's just full of kind of like summer clothes, um, kind of like going out stuff and 
other coats and jackets um, using these bags that go for Amazon they're turning out to be quite good that's the medium sized one and I think I've got about about 8 big coats in there which is really quite good um, I've just got some other coats can hang in there and I'll need to deal with that um, as I say that's not finished but this, these bags it's 7 bags um, so far full of stuff to take to the charity shop so that's quite good I did it all into um, the boxes and stuff so they're all together let me get a better view of that so what I need to do now is I'm going to sort it and a um, kind of trainers boots and heels decide what boxes I'm going to keep and what boxes I'm going to throw away because to be honest with you I don't think all the boxes will fit in there maybe they would but I did buy these I wanted to give these a wee try so these are storage bags that I got for you guessed it Amazon um, it's a pack of 20 and they were like I think they were a 10 or 9.99 so you get, I think you get 12 of these grey ones and get a wee clay fit in it which I think is quite good we will be able to see what shoes are in it and then you get eight of these white ones, which might be quite good for um, boots. So I'm going to give that a try. See, this is the kind of good surprises that I was talking about when I said I might find things. I totally forgot that I had. The keys. <sighs> forgot that I had keys. Yeah, no price. So I've made my decision, so what I'm going to do is boots are going to stay in the box because that just makes the most sense. Trainers are going to stay in the box because that's what makes the most sense to me. And what I'm going to try with these wee bags are all my heels. So I've got them here. Right, so we're getting there. <clears throat> Everything's pretty much organised now. I know this is stuff that's definitely stayed in boxes. Um, just things that, like boots that just store so much easier and like shoes that are kind of extra special um, they need to stay in boxes then I've got some trainers that are going to stay in boxes here and then I've got like kind of somebody kind of like Birkenstocks and things like that I just prefer to keep them in a box as well um, but these are the most surprising thing and the best thing ever is these wee bags these are really really good you can actually fit two pairs of shoes in here but I've managed to just put one in most of them and the little clear bit means that you can see where they are and you can just store them kind of flat and then I've used the white bags for boots and you can just open them and you can see what, what boots are in where I'm super happy with that This probably isn't in the most ideal situation, but it is definitely a kind of compact way of storing things. Um, this bag now weighs a ton because it's filled with like 40 pairs of shoes, but I'm really liking this. It's come in really handy. So, for now, shoes are going to live like that. So I think I'm going to need to admit defeat on the greens and making that cupboard look stylish. <laughs> Um, especially for the new anyway. The majority is tidy and I know exactly where stuff is so I'm going to put that down as a win. I'll show you what I've done. It's not exactly aesthetically pleasing. Um, but as I say, it is okay. Right, so starting from the top, I've just put the stuff that obviously I'm not wearing right now which is like Birkenstocks and summer shoes and I've got some boots up there that I don't really wear too often um, so I don't need to worry about reaching them. And this middle section is trainers, so they're easily accessible and I can see just by looking at them what's in it, so I'm pleased with that. This bit has really not turned out that great at all. These suitcases are still are like full of clothes. These storage bags are full of clothes, which I guess that's what they're for, so I can't really complain. I'm really quite happy about having all my heels in one place, so I think they should be more kind of easily accessible, so I should be able to not have any excuses when I say I can't find things. Considering where we started, I think it's not too bad. So that's it for the decluttering part. I'm feeling good that I've got all that organised um, and hopefully it gave you a bit of inspiration or maybe put you off completely about getting in and kind of try to declutter and organise your own wardrobe. Um, I do feel better for having done it though, so um, thanks for watching and I'll see you again in the next video. Bye!